Hi everyone, this is Brandon from App Crafted, and today I'm going to go through a quick example of how you can update a text in your game using App Crafted uh, fairly quickly uh, with our plugin. So here we go. Uh, first, go to appcrafted.com. If you don't have a an account yet, just um, click on Get Started. Uh, and you can log in to your account. I'm already logged in, so uh, let's see. Click on Assets. Uh, here you can see a list of all your containers, and uh, we'll, we are going to create a new container in a bit, but let me, actually, let me do that now. So I'm going to call this container example, can't spell, example 01. Examples. Okay. Okay, so that's that's my container. Now I'm going to go back to Unity for a second. So what I want to do is I want to have a white background in the game. And I simply want to have a uh, GUI text that displays a text that I want to be able to dynamically update from a website, from the app Crafted Dashboard. So everyone who has this game installed is going to see all the latest new text that I will send them. Right. So right now it's just going to say GUI text. Okay, so let's see. First, go to Downloads. And you can download the Unity plugin either directly from here or go to the GitHub repository. So I'm going to go to GitHub repository just to show you what this looks like. So for those of you who are not familiar with GitHub, uh, you can all you need to know is you can download the zip file here so this will give you the plugin and also underneath here it shows the readme file that basically tells you how to how to use the plugin and I'm going to go through that with you in a minute but let's just uh, download the plugin first okay it's been downloaded it's done let's go there and uh, this is the file that we've just downloaded double click on it so you have this folder, and it's got all the files you need. Uh, so let's drag this into Unity. Okay, so you have the plugin now is in Unity. Uh, I tend to change this folder name to just App Crafted, just to make it a little bit easier to read. Right, okay, great. Okay, so now you have the plugin installed or integrated. Uh, the next thing you want to do is create a simple script that simply updates the text. So I'm going to call this live text. Right, so that this is a script that has nothing in it just yet, but uh, in a minute we'll have some new stuff. So I'm going to drag this into the GUI text that I've just created. Okay, so it's down here. Let's open up this script. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is and make sure you're using crafted ink dot app crafted the namespace. All right, so this is how you can start using the plugin to start retrieving data from the server. Okay, now the first thing, actually, let's go back to GitHub because it's got the instructions there, right? So how to use this plugin? Step zero, extract the files. Uh, step one, use the app crafted namespace. So we've just done that. We've added that to the top of our script. Step two, register your credentials and your asset. Right, so you want to do this fairly early in your app uh, so that you can sort of get that out of the way. Um, so this is the line we want to use. We want to use the register credentials method. Right, actually, I'm going to try to type this in. Actually, th let's just do this. I'm just going to copy this line here and put it in the start method. And what you want to do is, so in the register credentials method, you want to enter your access key and your secret key. Uh, make sure they're entered as strings, so don't forget the little quotation mark on either side of 
your key, right? And uh, you can find your key, go to App Crafted, go to the dashboard, click on Account, and just click on Show. This will show you your access key and, and secret key. So make sure that this is the one you want to use. And that's the secret key. Right. Okay. Now let's go back to assets. And uh, I'm going to go to. Uh, actually, sorry. Uh, let's go back to the instruction, right? Let's try to follow this as closely as we can. Okay, so you've registered your credentials. Now the next step is you want to get asset, right? This is how you retrieve assets and data and files directly from AppCrafted. Now all you need to do is go to AppCraftedManager.instance.getAsset. So we want to use the getAsset method to get everything you need from your asset, from your container. Right? Again, put your container ID here and your asset ID here, and they are, again, string um, variables, so make sure you have the quotation marks around the IDs. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And again, I'm going to put it in the start method. You don't have to, uh, but since I want the text to be updated as soon as I start the app, um, as soon as it's downloaded, uh, so I, I want to put it in the start method. Uh, and this is, I need my container ID here, so I'm going to go back to the dashboard, find the container that I've just created, I think it was this one, example 01, click on it. And this is my container ID, copy, and just paste it here. And notice I have my quotation marks around it. Right. And now let's create an asset. And I'm going to call this asset ID text, simply just text. And the attribute name, I'm going to call this life text. And it's going to be a string. And I'm going to say, the text will say, hello world. Right. Very creative. Uh, I'm, and I'm, that, that's the only attribute I want in this asset, so I don't want to add more. I, I just want a string in this asset. Click on create asset. Now it's created here in the container. Okay, so I'm going to copy the asset ID and put it here. Right again, going back to this line here, you want your container ID and then your asset ID. Okay, good. So now we've registered our credentials and we've told the program to get this asset, right, from this container, this particular asset. Okay, now let's go back to the instructions. Step three, you want to subscribe to the unloaded event, right, and, and this is rather nice. So basically, this allows you to do things uh, to make sure that the asset is downloaded before you start using it. Right, so you can simply just copy and paste this entire block. And I, I tend to put this at the top, but you know, put it wherever you, you want to. And uh, that's, let's take a quick look. So on enable, we subscribe some method to the unloaded event. And on disable, we want to make sure that we unsubscribe, so it's just to avoid memory leaks. And this some method is run when the asset is finished downloading right so this is where we want to change things in our game because we don't we don't want to start using the asset before it's ready um, usually you'll end up with um, the app might crash on the iOS or you might just not get the results you want uh, so um, I'm going to change some method to something that actually means something in this context so I'm going to say this is change this method name to update text. Right, so this is update text, this is also update text, and now this is the update text method. And what it does is it's going to return an asset that you can use, and this is the asset that's directly from the server, so that's you can use it right away. I'm going to get rid of these codes that 
this example code. And the only thing I want to do is I'm going to update the GUI text because as a actually let's uh, let's not do this just yet. Let's go back here. Right. So we've done all that. Now we take a look at this thing here. Right, this example here. This is how you would use. Uh, this is how you would use the attributes in the asset. Right. So you do asset dot attributes, and then um, this is the attribute uh, ID, and then you say this is a string. Right. So this is exactly what we want to do. So uh, let's do that now. Get rid of that. Three tags again. Text equals asset dot attributes. Now we what was the name of the attribute name? Let's see. Uh, so this is the value of the attribute. The name of the attribute is like text. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it there. Right, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Right, and then I want to cast this as a string. Right, so I'm going to make sure that this is a string. Okay, so let's uh, let's run it. Uh, let me just before I forget, I just go through all the instructions and see if I've forgotten anything. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so that that's our script. Basically, we register credentials, we get the asset, and then in this delegate, we basically run the code we want to run when the asset is finished downloading. And you can just copy and paste this bit um, from the from the GitHub uh, readme file. And the only thing you need to care about really is just anything in, inside this method. Right, okay, so let's that's, that's, that's run this thing and, and see what happens. Right, so I'm gonna put the console here, just so we can sort of see what's going on. Hit play. You can see that it's initiating the app, app craft manager, and then we've got the new asset, which is a text, and we got the text which updates the uh, the GUI text here. Now let's uh, let's try changing that text. Right, so we saw hello world, now let's say uh, unity rocks, right? Change that text, and again, when I run this app, it's going to say um, the updated text. So this is really useful when you have a game that's out on the market, let's say you have a million players, and you want to make an, an announcement um, on a weekly basis, or if you want to respond, if you want to comment on some random sort of um, things that's happening throughout the day, uh, you can use that. You simply log on to the dashboard and then you find the field that you want to change and you can just say anything um, and then uh, the text will be updated. Now of course there are other methods in there where you can actually refresh the asset without having to restart the game, as I was just doing just now. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, for now, we just I just wanted to show you guys how you can start using this right away.